The use of face sight and face edge marks dates back hundreds of years to a time when it was very difficult to ensure that timber was a uniform thickness or width. By planing one side that was perfectly flat and not twisted and an edge that is square to the flat side, you produce two surfaces that you can mark from to help ensure that the finished products are flat, square, flush and not in winding. These are the face side and face edge marks. When we square around a workpiece or gauge lines, we must always keep the stock of the square or gauge on one of these faces. The stock must never go on either of the other two sides. With plain square edged softwood, it is seldom that we need to plane the face side and face edge to produce the required surfaces. However, we do need to select a face edge and a face side from which to work. You should choose the side and edge that have the least defects and allocate to them the appropriate marks. It will be from these two faces that you will do all your marking out from. Additionally, when assembling a frame, the face side will always be uppermost and the face edge will always be on the inside of the frame. Now let's square around the workpiece correctly. This is what can happen if you don't keep the stock on the face side and face edge. The lines do not meet up correctly. When using a gauge, we always keep the stock on the face side or face edge. 